Hey guys, Chris here from Kite Republic Yoo-hoo. here in South Africa to introduce the section at the core dealer meeting. I am here with Willow. Thank you very much for coming awesome. and hanging out, for man. Sure, and for uh, basically making it look good for the last <laughs> few days. It's been epic to watch. Oh, welcome. <laughs> uh, thank you. And um, Willow, we're obviously introducing the section. Yeah. Now, this is your kite of choice. Sure. And uh, wondering if you can tell us a little bit about who is this kite aimed at before we get into specifics? Yeah, well, I'd say this is aimed at it, anybody that really wants to push themselves in wave riding, you know? Like you said, this is my go-to kite when I want to chase the biggest waves of my mm-hmm. life, the biggest barrels of my life, the longest barrels, you know? So it's, when you want to start pushing it into the wave, yep. wave riding direction, that's when I start taking out the section, you know? Perfect. So, yeah. Nice. And what, what is it about the section, like in terms of the feel for you, yeah. what is it about the section you love? Well, like we've been working on this card for i think this is the third generation so it's about six years basically that we've yep. been working on just different models and prototyping it a lot and i would say just that it's basically i've kind of almost shaped it to be the ideal cut that i would want when yeah. i'm riding out at one eye so for me it's the most comfortable feeling i get yep and it really just offers so much deep power and such great drift Mm-hmm. that I can completely forget about it when I'm out yeah. on the water, when I'm kiting in the waves, you know? Yep. I started off surfing and then brought, implemented my surfing into kiting. Yeah. And now that I can go out there and I can just ride waves without having to worry about it is a dream, you know? Yeah. So yeah, that sounds horrible, huh? Yeah, just, exactly. Just... Basically why I love the section so much. So it's an ultimate drifting machine. Yep. It's got so much deep power and it just works perfectly out on the waves. Ah, perfect, man. Now, a uh, bit of a off to the side question here who's this kite not for so we've got someone looking up the section and the rest who would you say the kite's not ideal for i would say like if you're more into big air yep. say like if you're wanting to break a woo record or yeah, something yeah. like that then of course you would want to take a kite like the xr6 yep because that's just a hang time machine you know yeah yeah whereas the, the section's not made for that it doesn't have the same hang time it doesn't have the same lift yep whereas yeah, with an XR, you know, it's a boosting cut. That's what it's made for. Yeah. So, like, if you, you could jump with it and you could probably get some height, but you're just not going to stay up very long. So, yeah, it's yeah. not as fun. Yep. So, that's why I'd say, like, if you wanted to do strapless freestyle, then it works really great. Mm-hmm. And wave riding, of course. But if you're into the big air freestyle sort of things, then I'd maybe take a Nexus or an XR. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Obviously, kites are absolutely jam-packed with tech these days, so I want to keep this fairly simple, but sure. as far as the section goes, what are some of the trimmings, some of the things you can do to change the feel to your personality and what you're after? Well, basically when I ride the section, really like I ride it all standard because that's just how I like riding it. I'm straight from out of the, the, out of the shop and that's how I get it, um, how everyone else would feel it, you know? Yep. So um, you can change it if you like, depending on the conditions. There are these CRT points over here, Mm -hmm. sorry, over here that are, yeah, so if you, in onshore conditions, you would change it slightly and you can put it up a knot, which would make the kite sit further back in the wind window, Yep. which say you wouldn't have to like put it there basically, it's just slightly more in the window, which makes it just a little bit more comfortable when you're riding in onshore conditions. Yep. But then say if you're in Mauritius or if you're in Cabo Verde where it's super offshore and on days your kite's almost behind the wave then you want your kite to fly to the edge of the wind window as much as possible. So then you put it up a knot, which opens the kite up a little bit, gives you a little bit more deep power, but brings it to the edge. So it just sticks a little bit more on the edge, which brings the kite forward, Mm -hmm. which basically you can have a little bit more deep power and a bit better drift on it. So it depends on where you are and what you're riding, but like I keep it in the middle, which is the standard settings, which works for everywhere I go. So I don't have to worry about how the kite's feeling. Only on the section though. It depends on which kite I'm using, but on the section, I ride it standard. Yeah, beautiful. All right, and I believe in terms of sort of, you know, bar feedback and what you're feeling out of your bar, you've got some trimmings at the back here as well. Exactly, so yeah, you can also change it on the on the settings here. If you put it on this one, the, the one closer to the inside the kite, then I think it's more uh, bar pressure. Mm-hmm. And the further you go up, it gets lighter and lighter. So yep. it really just depends on the feeling that you, that you like to get from your kite. But like I said, I ride mm. everything on this kite standard and that's just how I love the feeling of it. So. It was like tested and demoed to you. Yeah, so yeah, I love that's it. the thing, ultimately, we've done so much testing that I actually don't need to change something. Yeah, so perfect. It's just exactly how I love it. Very nice, very nice. Now, I'm going to ask you one more question to finish oh, yeah. off. For sure. Now, you've obviously ridden waves all over the world. I'd say the majority of riders 
probably aren't going to have too much of a chance at their standard beach for, for riding sure. offshores and riding that sort Definitely. of wave. So the majority are going to be riding, you know, sort of cross shore or onshore yeah. waves. Now, what tips would you give people wanting to get the most out of this kite in that sort of standard condition, which is going to be your cross or onshore? How should they use the kite? What should they think about to just get the most out of it? One or two little Yeah, I would bits. say like... Uh, often enjoy taking sh a bit shorter lines say like 20 meters or 22 meters yep. i just like to have a bit more direct feeling i yep. just know where the kite is a mm -hmm. little bit more and you know everything happens a little bit faster yeah so say when you're on onshore conditions and you really want to down loop the kite to get yep. a little bit more speed or race for that next section when it's a bit more side shore onshore yeah it's not as easy when it's offshore where you can just race down so yeah, yeah. with a little bit of a loop you can really get a little bit more speed through it and with shorter lines i find the kite's just a little bit more direct and you can really feel it way more yeah like i said i still use standard settings no matter where i go in the world yeah i'm um, just so i always know the feeling that i'm getting from the kite and yeah i would say just yeah get it you have to get used to it you know it's very different you have to work it a little bit more because yep. it's it's got that on and off power which i love yeah, yeah. which is amazing for wave riding because course, when yeah. you want it off you want the kite to be just sitting there ride that way and with then no when you kite. need that power to get back up the line then you you know you just power it up so it's a little bit more on and off so in the beginning your first impressions may be like okay well this kite doesn't really it's not so easy to use yep but the more you use it and get the feeling of how it works and understanding it learn the like little specialities of this kite you know and so i think that helps a lot and yeah just take your time ride a little bit shorter lines give that a go yeah and yeah just enjoy it <laughs> perfect man well thank you very for much sure, for your bro. time mate Definitely. that's awesome Any, anytime and i hope to visit these guys very soon he will be there <laughs> we'll, we'll hold him to that for sure <laughs> Dark guys you want more information on the section or any of the core range hit us up kiterepublic.com.au and you'll see willow on our beach soon yes for sure <laughs> enjoy sick